Now that we know how a solid changes to a liquid, a liquid to gas, let's look at how the reverse process happens. Imagine we have steam which is gaseous form of water. How do we turn it back into liquid water? Remember, to change liquid into gas, we added heat. So to go from gas back to liquid, we do the opposite. We cool it down. When we cool the steam, the particles start to lose energy. You will learn more about how this energy lo loss work in higher classes. But for now, just remember that cooling makes particles slow down and lose energy. As they lose energy, the particles can't move as freely as they did in the gas state. And once the temperature drops below 100 degrees Celsius, the particles begin to come closer, moving less freely. And guess what? The state of water has changed from gas back to liquid. The steam has transformed into liquid water. This process where gas turns back into the liquid is called condensation and the temperature at which this happens for water is 100 degrees Celsius is called condensation point. What you see here is a classic real life example of condensation. You probably notice this every day, right? When you have cold water bottle, water vapor in the air condenses on the surface of the bottle and form droplets of liquid. This happens because cold surface of the bottle cools down the water vapor in the air, causing it to change from gas to liquid. This is a clear example of how gas can be converted to liquid. Alright, so now we understand how a solid can turn into a liquid with heat, then that liquid can turn into gas with even more heat. And also we saw that gas when cooled becomes liquid and further cooling turns the liquid back into solid. But there is another fascinating type of transformation, where a solid directly turns into a gas without passing through the liquid stage. And it can go the other way around too, where a gas becomes solid skipping the liquid phase. Let us look at an example, dry ice. Dry ice is just solid carbon dioxide and it is extremely cold with a freezing point of minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. When we take dry ice out of this super cold temperature and place it on a table at say room temperature of about 27 degrees Celsius, what happens? The solid dry ice doesn't turn into liquid the solid dry ice directly turns into gas, that is carbon dioxide gas. This special process is called sublimation. You can see it in action here in this video. The dry ice goes straight from solid form to a gas as it sits at room temperature, skipping the liquid state entirely. Another example of conversion of solid to gas directly would be camphor. Camphor also gets converted directly into gas at room temperature, though it's a comparatively slower process to dry ice. Next up, let's take a look at how gas can convert into a solid, skipping the liquid state entirely. Here are a couple of examples to understand this. Take a, take a look at these two images. You might recognize these as a frost in refrigerator. Those icy crystals that form inside, very irritating, right? And here is another example that are frost on plants, though this one looks beautiful. So what is happening here? In both the cases, the water vapor present in the atmosphere is turning directly into ice, which we see as frost. Notice that it skips the liquid water stage entirely. This transformation from gas to solid is called deposition. And it's the reverse of sublimation and it happens in cold environment where water vapor cools rapidly and becomes solid ice without becoming liquid first. How beautiful is that? Alright, that was quite a long discussion. Let's quickly summarize them to make it clear. First, when a solid turns into liquid with the help of heat, this process is called melting. And it occurs at a specific temperature called melting point. For water, the melting point is 0 degrees Celsius. Next, if we keep heating, the liquid changes into gas through a process called boiling, which happens at a temperature known as its boiling point. For water, this is 100 degrees Celsius. Now, for the reverse process, when a gas cools down and becomes a liquid, that's called condensation. 
and it happens at condensation point, the same temperature as that of boiling point. For water, that's also 100 degree Celsius. If we cool the liquid further, it turns back into solid in a process known as freezing. And this happens at freezing point. For water, the freezing point is 0 degree Celsius. Now on to the interesting ones. If a solid directly changes into gas, skipping the liquid phase with rapid heating, this is called sublimation. And the reverse process where a gas turns directly into solid without becoming a liquid, which happens with sudden cooling, is called deposition. So this is how we look and feel different about ocean, iceberg and steam. And these are all forms of same substance that is water and nature allows them to transform easily between each of these states based on the temperature.